Hey everybody, Lieutenant Governor Matt Pinnell here. Hope everybody is safe. Uh, practicing that social distancing, wash your hands, 20 seconds, sing happy birthday when you do it. Uh, we're feeling good about PPE that we have in the state of Oklahoma, uh, feeling good uh, about where we are positioned right now, but uh, we cannot rest uh, on, on any of that. We have to continue to be diligent uh, in, in practicing social distancing and staying home at, at whenever you can. Uh, and while you're that, uh, doing those things, hopefully you're watching some of these Oklahoma Proud interviews that we're doing with just good Oklahomans uh, from around the state of Oklahoma that are trying to deal with this crisis just like you are. Uh, business owners, uh, people uh, from, from all different uh, uh, swaths of life really in the state of Oklahoma. And hopefully, two, giving, giving you all two things. Number one, get, get a little bit more pride in the state uh, a little bit more, uh, uh, hopefully, joy, uh, but also, hopefully, some relevant information, too. Uh, you may be a business that's looking to innovate in the in these times, uh, a mom or a dad that's looking to, to how do we talk to our kids? We, we interviewed a, a, a child psychologist a, a week or so ago. Please look that up, that interview up on our, on our uh, uh, YouTube page. But today, uh, we have someone, uh, the, a great business, uh, really an anchor business uh, that we've had in the Tulsa area for a very long time, but uh, certainly is being uh, directly affected because they're tied to the airline industry. Uh, and with me today is Chris Ambergy uh, with Fine Airport Parking, uh, some of the best marketing uh, that I see in the, uh, state of, in, in the state of Oklahoma. Uh, if, if you've ever visited the Tulsa airport or many other airports uh, around the country now, and, he, and Chris can maybe speak to that as well, but it's certainly if you've fall, flown out of that Tulsa International Airport, you know fine airport parking uh, and, and know how uh, professionally run their operation is. I always park there, they're amazing. Uh, but with that, I'm going to let Chris kind of introduce himself. And Chris, talk a little bit about um, uh, yourself and, and Fine Airport Parking. You bet. Uh, thank you, Lieutenant Governor. Um, uh, Fine Airport Parking has been around since uh, 1983 uh, here at the, at the Tulsa Airport. We were founded by, uh, by Mike Fine. Uh, and, you know, Mike was just a kind of a serial entrepreneur that, uh, started out in the car rental business and was looking for a location at the airport and uh, noticed that, that, that there was maybe an opportunity to, to, to get into the parking business instead. And uh, so founded fine in 1983, we built a, a five story garage here in Tulsa in 2000 and uh, uh, then expanded to Denver in 2017. Um, but, you know, we, we're, we're a parking facility. Uh, virtually 100% of our business is, is based upon people traveling uh, out of the airport here in Tulsa or, or in Denver. We pride ourselves on being a very uh, high-end customer service organization. Mike was very big on the customer experience. So over the years, he uh, really refined the model uh, so that we, we provide the, the, the highest level of service and a lot of amenities that go along with that. We have a, a, a great lobby that you come into. Our drivers are courteous and professional and help you with their luggage. Uh, we give, give you free popcorn and soft drinks. And uh, I, I always can, appreciate the, uh, always appreciate the popcorn. And, and uh, I remember flowers too. I think it was on yeah. Valentine on Valentine's day. You know, for us guys, we forget flowers. You guys had flowers there. I, I used to fly so much that uh, I even remember that. Yeah, yeah. And and actually, we we made that a uh, year-round deal now. If uh, we we give uh, complimentary roses when you return, so if uh, you travel, you can take one home to your your, your wife or significant other. So really, just trying to provide a, an an experience for customers. I mean. Travel can sometimes be difficult, and uh, we're kind of the beginning and the end of that travel experience. We try to make it as uh, pleasant of an experience as possible for customers. So again, you, you provide a wonderful product, uh, wonderful customer service, but right now with what we are dealing with, I mean, the airlines, they're shut down. I mean, the Tulsa airport, Oklahoma City airport, same kind of, they're, they're parking lots for planes. I mean, it's amazing to see the aerial 
photos of just all of these planes that are just sitting there on the runways at both Will Rogers in Oklahoma City and, and, and at the Tulsa International Airport in Tulsa. So when this happened, when, when, when this came to a halt, uh, uh, what did you do uh, as a company to innovate uh, to talk, talk, talk to folks a little bit about kind of the steps that you've been taking since, you know, no one's flying out of that airport right, uh, right out your window. Sure. Well, so, you know, it, it, the timing was, uh, was about as bad as it could be for our business as well, because uh, generally travel from about November 1st through the uh, early, you know, late February, early March is pretty, pretty dead. Uh, and I say dead, there's still people traveling, but it's not our peak season. Our peak season starts with spring break. Yep. Well, this hit right before spring break. So right before we got into what would be our peak travel season, spring break, summer vacation travel, all that. And then we, you know, have steady business travel throughout the year. Um, this hit and typically we'd be dealing with challenges of selling out, filling up for spring break figuring out, you know, how we can accommodate as many customers as possible. And this year we watched the numbers just slowly decline. Yep. Um, and, and, you know, certainly we understand that and there's nothing we can do to impact air travel. We understand that. And we, you know, fully support uh, everything that's being done in terms of social distancing and, and, and trying to, uh, uh, you know, get this, get this thing behind us. But, you know, we have, uh, we employ about 170 people uh, across the two locations. Um, and we would typically see in Tulsa between 800 and 1,000 people a day coming through our facility. That's about 15 to 20 right now. Um, 15 and to that's 20 just, actual people. Yeah, that's, that's just the, what's left of people that, maybe we're on an extended vacation or had difficulty getting back to town or whatever the case may be, or has to travel for whatever essential reasons they, they do. So, uh, you know, there, there's, there's, there's not a, uh, anything we can really do, do about that. But, uh, what we did identify is one of the things that we're, we're known for is we have a, a top of the line detail shop. We, mm -hmm. we, we wash and detail five or 600 cars a month, uh, typically almost a hundred percent of those being people that are traveling. So it's a great, great compliment, great service. You, you leave town, you leave us your car, we wash it, we detail it. We have it looking good as new when you get back from your trip. Uh, and, and our customers love that service. But if our customers aren't traveling, kind of inconvenient for them to, to take advantage of, of our service. So we've talked before over the years about could we offer a, a, a pickup and drop off service? Um, you know, some of the car dealerships do that, you know, where, where they'll pick up your vehicle service and bring it back to you, all that good stuff. And we've always kind of found the reason not to do it. You know, there's always a reason not to do something new. It's trouble, it's, you know, whatever the issue is. When your revenue is down 95 to 100%, suddenly it's like, let's, let's, let's try this. And uh, so we, we uh, really during spring break, uh, we started putting together uh, a plan for how we might do this and how we could do it safely and efficiently and, uh, I went home on a Friday evening, uh, the weekend before we were ready to launch this, and I, I put a, a post out uh, into a COVID-19 support local business group that, uh, that, that was on Facebook. And by the time- Which is, a, which is a really key point, because again, the, these Facebook groups are extremely powerful uh, and doing just amazing things that, you know, I have my, my uh, positives and negatives, certainly, of social media. Uh, my love-hate relationship, uh, that, that's yeah. for sure. But when it comes to crises like this, those support groups on Facebook are very helpful. Uh, and so you posted on one of them in, in the Tulsa area. Yeah, yeah, posted on, posted on one of them. And the response was, was just overwhelming. And by the time uh, the weekend was out, we had over 60 appointments, That's which awesome. 
w w was was basically what far far exceeded my expectations, but but really was everything that we could get done uh, for that first week. And uh, so really through continuing uh, the, the the social media presence, and then as we've gotten going, the the word of mouth, and then communication with our existing customer base. We're, we're coming up on the end of the third week of doing this now. And the feedback has been very positive. Customers love it, it's convenient. Um, we're also, you know, they, and, and, and I love the way uh, Tulsans and people around Oklahoma are really trying to support locally owned businesses that, that, that are impacted by this and certainly uh, people have been very, very supportive of us in this regard. Um, and then, you know, the other thing that goes right along with that is uh, obviously we're probably more cognizant than ever of being clean and we're cleaning cars. Wow. That's a very good point. We're, very we're, good point. We're, we're, we're cleaning your vehicle. We're sanitizing all of the surfaces uh, on the interior and all of the, uh, all of that good stuff. So, and we're doing it in a very, uh, safe manner. All of our detailers are wearing gloves and they're wearing masks and, and as well as the, the staff that is involved with picking up and dropping off vehicles. But it was a, it was definitely a, just kind of a, let's try this and see what happens. And then the response has been uh, phenomenal. It's been great for our employee morale because otherwise this would be a ghost town. I mean, right. it really is. I mean, our, our parking lot has never been this empty. I hope it's never this empty again. Right. But, uh, and, 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 and it's allowed us to, to stay connected with uh, some of our customers that, that we wouldn't be seeing otherwise. And, uh, and, and it's just been, it's, it's, it's been, it's been gratifying to see the support uh, that we've had through the community. Well, the fact, I mean, the fact too, that again, you all tried to find certainly a way to, to, to stay in touch with your customers, but it also, I mean, as you said, you're keeping employees employed uh, and you have a lot of employees, as you said, uh, and, and to be able, I, I, I know that uh, they are very appreciative of that, but I want you to know as, as Lieutenant Governor, as, as someone who, uh, oh, you know, 16, 17 million people in this country are filing for unemployment. When you have businesses that, uh, and you're still going to be able to lean on uh, some of those resources, those federal stimulus dollars, but you're, at the same time, you're keeping people employed. That's just huge. Uh, just huge. Yeah. Where do people go? Uh, where do people go if they want to, again, do this service? No, do people wait there? Uh, how long does it take? Uh, a couple of those questions that I had as well. Sure, sure. So you can uh, you can go to our website, which is www.fineairportparking.com, and uh, click on the uh, the detailing tab. And there's a tab to uh, request an appointment for uh, uh, for a detail. And in terms of what you know what the process is like, it you tell us when you you know the car that you want. When you want it done, we will get in contact with you and let you know if that works with, within our schedule or if we need to try to accommodate a, a, a different uh, time or date. And then we pick up your car. Uh, we, we really have kind of a morning or an afternoon option. If we pick it up in the morning, we pick it up between eight and nine. We work on it during the day and we have it back to you by five or six at night. Yeah. Uh, alternatively, uh, we can pick up in the afternoon work on it in the evening and return it the following morning. How so, far, how far do you pick up? How far you know, out? We, 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 we're basically hitting the entire Tulsa Metro area. We say within 30 miles and, you know, pretty much the entire Tulsa Metro is within 30 miles of our facility. Yeah. So we've been, you know, we've been as far as Coweta and, uh, you know, over on the west side of, of Sand Springs and down in Sepulpa, north of, into Collinsville. So we've, we've been all over and it, it, that's been actually one of the interesting things. Um, you know, you kind of figure out where your employees live and we, we, we've got a group of employees that are involved with the, the, the transportation side of this. And, you know, the guy that lives in Broken Arrow is covering Broken Arrow and Coweta and, and that area. And I'm covering South Tulsa and Bixby. And, and, and we're just kind of, it's kind of an all hands on deck sort of effort. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's great. I, I love to hear these stories again of, 
you know, that I, there's going to be some positives that will come out of this. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm saying that, I'm claiming it, that there will be some positives. And I think some of them will be, again, I, I hope Oklahomans and whatever state people are in realize how big and important shopping local is, first off. Um, and and it's, it's forcing companies to be innovative. Uh, and, you know, this is now something that, again, you said, you mentioned that you've thought about this for a while. Obviously, as you said, you lose 95 to, you know, close to 100% of your uh, profit, then that forces you to be innovative. This may be now something that you kind of keep in your portfolio uh, moving forward. Is, is, that, is this something you probably uh, will, will keep going to some degree? Yeah, I, I think it's very likely that we will. I mean, it, it's it's been, uh, the, the, you know, again, the feedback's been great, but it's also given us an opportunity where we reconnect with someone maybe 10 years ago, they traveled, you know, two, three times a month. And now, you know, they travel once or twice a year. And they're like, man, I always loved the service that you guys provided. I just don't travel as much as I used to. So yeah. I think it's very likely something that, that will continue going forward. And, and to your point, the other thing is, I mean, we, we, we've, got, we've got 10 to 12 guys that work in our detail shop that if it wasn't for this, I mean, there, there would be nothing for them to do. And so yeah. not only to keep them employed and keep them getting a paycheck, but to keep them busy. Um, and, and, you know, because I, I think, you know, one of the things that I get concerned about with all this is just the mental health aspect of that's right. being at home. And, Absolutely. And, which I understand, you know, the reasoning behind it. And, and, and it's, a, it's a good and important thing. But, you know, it allows them to at least be out, be active, get something done uh, and continue to have that paycheck flowing. Man, Chris, thank you so much. Again, the, the website one more time for, for folks. Yeah, it's uh, www.fineairportparking.com or you can also just send an email to cs at fineairportparking.com and uh, we'll get you taken care of. You know, as, as, as your ads say now, you can add the ad, you know, you want your car picked up and then drop back off, fine. There you go. Fine, you're doing it now. Chris, thank you so much for being a great Oklahoman, a great Tulson. Thank you for the service that you guys provide to this state. Uh, and thanks for providing, uh, putting a little bit more pride uh, in Oklahomans uh, during this time of uh, real crisis in the state of Oklahoma. We're going to bounce back, though, faster than any other state because we're, we're used to uh, going through crises in the state of Oklahoma. We're not a stranger to it. Uh, when we have good companies like you and, and four million other Oklahomans across the state. I firmly believe we're going to be in a better position uh, in the months and years ahead. So, Chris, thank you again. You bet. Thank you, Lieutenant Governor.